Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we've got another task one question that's for the letter for the general IELTS exam. So let's see what we have in store for today. You eat in your college cafeteria every day at lunchtime. However, you think it needs some improvements. Write a letter to the college manager. In your letter, explain what you like about the cafeteria. Say what is wrong with it. Suggest how it could be improved. So first things first, you figure out is this formal or is this uh, informal. And of course, it's not informal. So we start with, there's two possibilities. You can start with, dear sir or madam. But usually, in a college environment, you know who the manager is usually by name not in person not like personally but you know their name so it's a good idea to start with something like you know uh dear mr whatever their name is yeah um so it can be dear mr jones dear mr smith whatever any name doesn't really matter right so um then uh what exactly is the point that you're trying to make so i'm writing this letter to you or this letter is being written to you um either way works or i am writing that also works actually writing this letter to you why uh um in conjunction with or in relation to right so in regard to or with regard to uh our cafeteria our college cafeteria and that's it then you get straight to the point bullet point one tells you explain what you like about the cafeteria so you're gonna write down a couple things that you enjoy i'm writing this letter to you with regard to our college cafeteria uh it is an amazing place uh to get together with friends and um and it offers a wide variety of dishes to suit every um palette and price point and i am very grateful that it exists something like that let's have a look at the word count so that's 46 words maybe i'll add one more sentence uh it is an amazing place to get to other friends after lessons um before or after lessons and offers a wide variety of dishes to suit every palette and price point so i'm very grateful that it exists and and that's a total of 50 words there we go that being said <laughs> so that being said is something that's like but right so that being said uh I do have a few concerns right now um these concerns can be anything that's up to you is it that the food has gotten bland lately or the portion sizes are not enough or is it a uh, hygiene issue or is it that food items run out very quickly or do you have to wait a long time for the food or there's not enough seating could be anything so that being said i do have a few concerns what is wrong with the cafeteria i do have a few concerns i wanted to bring to your attention bring to your attention um because of how many students there are the cafeteria is often so crowded that many people cannot find a place and must eat outside, um, eat elsewhere. Cannot really benefit from the cafeteria, right? The cafeteria is so crowded there's many, that many people cannot find a place and must eat at another establishment. Um, so there's seating issues. Um, this um, this crowding has also resulted in um, wait times for our meals. Well, it's a cafeteria; they actually have ready meals, so that wouldn't actually be huh, a real issue. Okay. Um, this also means this crowding also means that some dishes that are made to order take a lot more time than usual 
to be served there we go so we've got our issues there's too many people not enough spaces and there's also an issue with how long it takes for the food to be cooked and served then you suggest how it can be improved and so if you're going to suggest something you're going to use modal verbs there's many ways to make suggestions how about this uh, if i were in your place i would do xyz but those are not appropriate for talking to strangers or in a formal setting those are appropriate with friends and family so here uh, i'm gonna say um it would be a good idea it would be a good idea to increase seating capacity so that all students can benefit from um this service Right. Um, additionally, hiring a few more um, cooks and line staff would not hurt either. Well, uh, not hurt is a bit casual, so um, could also be something to look into um, along with, <clears throat> along with um about mind staff what else it'd be a good idea to increase seating capacity so that all students can benefit from this wonderful service it would be a good idea to increase seating capacity um both inside the cafeteria and outside it as there is enough um space or hmm, inside the cafeteria and outside it so that all students can benefit from the service additionally hiring a few more cooks and line staff could also be something to look into to alleviate uh student woes there we go and that's 47 that's good enough good idea to increase seating capacity both inside the cafeteria and outside it so that all students can benefit from student service at all times Additionally, from a cooks and line staff would also be something to look into to alleviate student woes. There we go. And because you had a complaint, you're going to say, I look forward to a timely resolution of my concerns. And then it's a stranger. I mean, it's well, not a stranger. So you know them by name, only by name, not in person. So it's kind of semi formal. And so you write your sincerely and then, you know, your full name. There we go. So that's the whole thing. Let's have a look at the word count. This is 179. And then we've got all these paragraphs. I'm going to stop. I'm going to scroll down over here so you can check the first two paragraphs. You can pause the screen. And then we've got the end. Do the last paragraph and you have the uh, signing off. And that's it. That barely took us eight minutes or so. You see, as long as you have, it's really, you know, letters are kind of repetitive. There's always, oh, suggest something or ask for advice or talk about a problem or ask for suggestions, you know. So it, you can kind of learn some common phrases, you know, like it would be a good idea to da-da-da or additionally or alternatively, you could also do da-da-da. So you can learn as, you know, when you watch all these videos, you can just start to learn some of these fixed, semi-fixed flexible expression so you can kind of you know just reuse or recycle them as needed so if this video was helpful for you, to you don't forget to click on like that really helps us and there's a lot more videos so go and check out the channel um and you know if you know someone else who's also preparing for these exams you can share these links with them We've got a lot of content coming up for you so don't forget to check back in until then bye, -bye.